All right then, compass is set at 3.5 centimeters. I'll draw a circle right in the middle of the page. Then I'll move the compass right to the top of the circle. I'll try and make sure it's like straight up, right at the top of the circle. And I'll draw another circle exactly the same size as the first. Then I'll move over to this point on the right where the two circles cross and draw another circle. And I'm going to work my way around until I've got the seed of life. The seed of life is a symbol made up of six circles around a center circle. So there's seven circles in total. One in the middle, six around the outside. All right, so that's the seed of life. The next step is to find the triangles. So we've got these six petals in the middle and we can use the tips of the petals to find the triangles. If we join these three together, we'll get our triangle that points up. And then we'll join these three together to find the triangle that points down. And that'll form the hexagram that sits in the middle. The hexagram, also known as the Star of David or the Shatkona. What else is it known as? Not sure. I know it's got it's got it's got a name in Japanese as well, isn't it? What's it called in Japanese? Can't remember. All right, so there you go. So that's the center of the symbol done. Nice and easy this one. I'll mark it in green just to show you where it is. But it's pretty obvious, isn't it? So all that's left to do now is find the petals around the outside. We're going to make a little guide so we know exactly where to draw them. So if I take these two points on the left and right and join them together with the straight line. That gives us a horizontal line that we can use as a starting point to draw another seed of life over the top of the first seed of life. So just do exactly the same as you did before, just starting on this point to the right of the circle. So we just draw in six circles around the central circle, working our way around.
Now you see how we've got this line in this section here, in this shape. We want to do that all the way around in, in each section. So if I connect this point to its mirroring point, making sure that the line goes straight through the center, But we don't actually have to draw the line all the way through the middle. We can just do it, just do the line in each section that we need it. And we're going to do that all the way around every section. Now we need to do the same kind of thing in these sections. So if we take this point, connect it to the point on the other side, making sure that it goes straight through the middle. But again, we don't need to put the line in the middle. You can if you want, but it just saves confusion and doesn't make a mess in the middle. All of these symbols the way I do it, you don't actually have to do so many lines. You can just do the points where things need to cross. I just like to show the full shape of each circle. Um, just so you get more of an understanding of like how the, how the shapes interact. So that's now divided our symbol into 24 and that's going to help us find the 12 petals. Okay, so the next step, I need to find the top of the petals. It's going to be on this intersection here. So if I set my compass to that size and draw a circle all the way around, That'll be the top of the petal. If we were to use any of the intersections any higher, the petals would just look mad and elongated. So that's going to be the top of the petals. Okay, now to find the middle of the petal, I'm going to set the compass back to the size of the main circle and I'll put it on this line here and just put a little mark on this where it crosses the circle to show us the halfway point of this ring that we've got here and that'll be the halfway point of the petal so I'll use that little intersection that I've made to draw a circle all the way around the ring. And then I can use this as my guide. I'll draw the bottom half of the petal curving one way and then the top half 
curve in the other way and making sure that they cross the intersection. I'll do the same on the other side. So it mirrors the petal. And then I'm just going to work my way around, all the way around, until we've got 12 petals. Alright, so we work our way around, and then I can go over those petals in green. And that's it, that's, that's all there is to it, that's the basic structure of the heart chakra symbol. Hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to support the channel, make sure you click that join button. Join the club, get access to real-time drawing videos and nothing else, really. You just get access to real-time drawing videos. If you want more, you got to go over to my Patreon. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Ta-ra.